Hello and welcome to Demu's Tutorials. This is part 3 of question and answer series on engineering materials. This video will focus on carbon steels and alloys. Question. What are the differences between iron and steel? Answer. Steel has less than 1% carbon in composition. Whereas iron has more than 2% carbon in composition. Steel is byproduct of iron. See the explanation below. Iron ore is processed with coconoblast furnace. Pig iron is obtained. Pig iron is further processed to reduce the carbon percentage. In various furnaces and steel is obtained. Now, steel can be further processed to obtain various types of alloys. Elements like silicon, manganese and chromium are added for making alloys. Question. Tell something about cast iron. Answer. Cast iron comes from a family of materials that differ widely in mechanical properties. Cast iron is an alloy of iron and carbon, containing more than 2% of carbon. It has other elements like silicon, manganese, sulfur and phosphorus. Cast iron has very good compression and vibration resistance properties. But due to high carbon percentage, it is very brittle and can break upon low impact to tensile loads. Cast iron has very good resistance to wear. It can maintain mechanical properties unchanged up to 350 C. Typical application is machinery beds. Question. How steel is classified based upon carbon content? These are the three classes of steel based upon carbon content. Small change in carbon content results in totally different material properties. Low carbon steel is often called as mild steel and has less than 0.3% carbon in it. It is very soft and ductile. Machining and welding is very easy but cannot be heat treated to obtain hardness or other properties. Medium carbon steel has carbon content in between 0.3 to 0.5%. It can be heat treated to obtain hardness or other properties. It is harder and tougher than mild steel. High carbon steel has more than 0.5% carbon in it. They are called tool steel. It has very high strength along with hardness. They have poor ductility, weldability and has chances of becoming brittle after heat treatment. Question. What are the important considerations in selection of steel? Answer. Selection of steel depends on manufacturing process and function of part. While making press parts. Ability of material to deform to greater extent is required characteristic of steel. Material is ductile when carbon content is low. Hence here low carbon steel is needed. For making gears materials machinability and response to heat treatment is required. Characteristic of steel. For good machinability. Another alloy can be added but gears need surface hardened. Which is possible with medium carbon steel. Toughness and hardness are required characteristic in press tool and mold tool. They should show high capability of not to break or distort due to large to compressive forces. Hence in that high carbon steel is used. Question. What are free cutting steels? Answer. Free cutting steels are carbon steel and carbon manganese steels with a small percentage of sulfur. Machinability of these steels is increased due to sulfur. Free cutting steels have enhanced capability in following regards. The ease of cheap formation. The ability to achieve good surface finish. Achievement of an economical tool life. While machining on automatic machines like CNC's, free cutting steel is very much preferred. Studs, bolts and nuts are made from free cutting steel. Question. What are alloy steels? Answer. Alloy steels are those to which one or more alloying elements are added in the percentage of 1 to 4. Silicon, manganese, nickel, chromium, molybdenum and tungsten are some of the alloying elements. When alloying is done beyond 4% it is called high alloy steel. Alloying elements are selected based upon desired properties in steel. Alloying is required because of limitations in properties of plain carbon steels. Few limitations are listed below. The tensile strength of plain carbon steel cannot be increased beyond 700 N per square mm without substantial loss in ductility and impact resistance. 
Plain carbon steels are not deep hardenable. Plain carbon steels have low corrosion resistance. Plain carbon steels become brittle at low temperatures. To overcome such limitations alloying is done, and these steels are called alloy steels. Question. Explain with example, how alloying element enhance the properties. Answer. Silicon. Increases strength and hardness without affecting the ductility. Manganese. Increases strength and depth of hardness. Nickel. Increases strength, hardness without affecting ductility. Enhance steel's ability to harden when heat treated. Also enhance the property of not fracturing under impacts load at low temperatures. Or we can say that it increases the toughness. Chromium. Increases hardness along with wear and corrosion resistance. Molybdenum. Increases hardness and wear resistance along with resistance to softening while tempering and heating. Tungsten has same properties like molybdenum but is expensive than molybdenum. Question. Summarize the properties of steels that are enhanced due to alloying. Answer. Wear resistance. Toughness. Resistance to softening effect of elevated temperature. Depth of hardening. Machinability. Grindability. Distortion in heat treating. Safety in hardening. And resistance to decarburization. Question. List the global standards for steel designation. Answer. ASTM. The American Society for Testing Materials classifies gray cast iron by means of number. This class number gives minimum tensile strength in kilos I. DIN. In Germany Deutsches Institute. Fewer Normung has specifies gray cast iron by minimum ultimate tensile strength in kilogram force per square mm. SAE, Society of Automotive Engineers of USA based on chemical composition of steel. AISI, American Iron and Steel Institute, based on chemical composition of steel. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.